Chapter 17 begins with a balloon. A balloon in my hair. I'm going to take the balloon. I'm going to rub it in my hair. I'm going to do this with the balloon. I'm going to rub it in my hair. Then I'm going to let go of the balloon. The balloon's going to stay in my hair. Yes? It's a good balloon. Thank you. I'm then going to take the balloon. I'm then going to remove it from my hair. And hopefully, some of my hair is sticking up. Yes? Yes. All right. Yeah. Then I'm going to take the balloon and I'm going to place it against the wall. And it's going to wow. stay on the wall. These are all things that have to do with the stuff we learned in chapter 17, and you need to understand all of the stuff that I just went through, and we're going to make sure that you do. It starts out with the basic concept of the law of charges. The law of charges. Somebody tell me something, please, about the law of charges. Before you do so, please understand that a lot of the stuff we're going to start with today should be stuff that's reviewed from some other class that you learned at some other time. I do need to get, kind of review this information before we can build on it. So this, the question about the law of charges, is something you probably learned about in middle school. Sim. True, but opposite what? Opposite charges attract. Okay. So let's use, we usually term, use the term unlike. So unlike charges attract. Okay, that's half of the law of charges. Juliana, the other half? Unlike charges oh, attract. Um, like charges repel. Like charges repel. Okay, charges. Ian, what does that mean? Is it like positive and negative? Positive and negative. Basic concept, we have positive and negative charges. What has a positive, what has a negative charge? Grimmer. All a negative charge is something that is more of electrons. Ah, so let's just start with the term <coughs> electrons. Right? Electrons have a negative charge. Electrons, the symbol generally that I use for an electron is an E with a superscript of a negative, which is a negative charge. What therefore then has a positive charge? Um, proton. A proton has a positive charge. Okay, so we return back to the balloon. I take the balloon. I rub the balloon on my hair. I rub the balloon on my hair. What's going on right here is we have negative charges from my hair flowing to the balloon. So the net balloon now has a net negative charge. My hair now has a net positive charge. So please explain to me then why, Michael, the balloon sticks to my hair. Because unlike charges attract. Unlike charges attract. We have a negative charged balloon and a positive charged hair. The two are attracted to one another. I then take the balloon and I remove it from my hair and some of the hair is sticking up. Please explain why some of the hair is sticking up. We should for both. Because my charges repel and each of your hairs is charged. My hair now has a positive charge, and the hairs are then repelled from one another, and it's going to stick up. Good. This one, we'll understand it a little bit. Law of charges. We have so far, and you'd be amazed the number of things that come back to the basic concept of the law of charges, the fact that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. So we have positive and negative charges, we have electrons, and we have protons. Now, we have, according to the Bohr model of the atom, we have protons and neutrons. Class, where are they? Nucleus. Try that again. Class, where are they? Nucleus. nucleus. They're in the nucleus of the atom. Out here in the orbital shells, we have electrons, which are moving around. So this is the Niels Bohr model of the atom, the classical model, model of the atom, early, early 1900s, like 1903 or 1902, something like that. Um, basically showed that electrons are in orbital clouds outside of the nucleus, and the protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus. So when I rubbed the balloon on my hair, the electrons, which are in the orbital shells, came off of the balloon and, I'm sorry, came off of the hair and went into the balloon, giving the balloon a net negative charge. 